The fourth generation Toyota Land Cruiser Prado with the J150 index is easy to purchase in the secondary market. There are a lot of offers, but this is one of the few models on the market that are extremely reluctant to lose in price. It remains to be seen why this is the case. What are we paying for? And do we pay? There are no perfect cars. And Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is no exception. He also sometimes goes to the service. However, having appeared in the fall of 2009, the SUV immediately made it clear that it was a full-fledged successor to its indestructible predecessors. And over time, it became clear that J150 also cured a number of sores of its progenitor J120. You don't have to expect frank tricks from a used Prado, but you shouldn't forget that the margin of safety of an all-wheel drive frame SUV is not unlimited either. In Ukraine, the J150 of the first wave could be bought with one of three engines. And here's the thing, there's absolutely nothing to blame them for. The 3.0-liter 173-horsepower diesel is likely to cause more trouble, due to the quality of our fuel and the need to compensate for these costs with more thorough and costly maintenance of the unit. But who will save on a repair kit for the Mighty Pets turbine? It's better than paying for the entire turbine as a whole. With a 4.0-liter naturally aspirated V6 1 GR Fay for 282 forces in terms of maintenance, life is definitely calmer. But he will take his money through the cost of fuel, for which he is very greedy. Another thing is its gasoline 2.7 liter and 163 horsepower counterpart 2 TR Fay. He eats fuel with hardly less appetite, but at the cost of maintenance, this is the best option. Of course, you can run into a piston replacement, problems with the blockhead gasket or a failure of the mounted electrics and especially the pump here. But these breakdowns cannot be called systemic. By the way, by 150,000 kilometers, the probability of a radiator leak is high. At the same time, we recommend changing the pump, so as not to let you down on a long trip. Shortly after the restyling that Prado experienced in 2013, a 2.8-liter 177 horsepower turbo diesel, made it to a 6-speed automatic, settled under the hood of the SUV. Speaking of gearboxes, you will rarely see a car with a 5-speed mechanics. Here you need to be careful, an off-road lover probably drove this one, although the box is reliable, the clutch runs up to 200,000 km. Prado also come across with a 4-speed automatic transmission. There are no contraindications to it either. However, not everyone likes the too lazy and sometimes jerky algorithm of the box. It is better to pick up a car with a 5-speed automatic transmission. It will not be difficult, since AKP5 cars were just officially delivered to Ukraine. With timely maintenance, the thing is durable. When dealing with a used car, suspension replacements are inevitable. When buying, you should especially be wary of cars with pneumohydraulic suspension. Its repair is much more expensive. By the way, pneumatics is more relevant for the city. It is noticeably more comfortable, and without regular off-road exploits, it will serve enough, even the compressor will live. The front stabilizer bushings, the main consumables, do not last long during active driving, but in any case they are enough for a year. Often, already at 50,000 kilometers, the front shock absorbers are flowing. But what you definitely don't like is the instant wear of the front brake pads. Sometimes their replacement is required after 15,000 kilometers. But the discs will be changed 5 to 6 times less often. In general, after the first 100,000 kilometers, in theory, and in practice, too, any problems can arise. The starter or oil seals on the gearbox, ball bearings for aggressive driving, steering rack and so on will need to be replaced. But all this, again, is non-systemic malfunctions that do not occur en masse. On specialized internet forums, in reviews, there are a lot of comments on the J150 cabin. People, having paid a hefty amount for a car, expect the best quality of finishing materials. In the domestic table of ranks Prado is still listed as a prestigious SUV. Therefore, people react sharply to numerous extraneous sounds in the cabin, especially an unheated SUV. A typical thing is a cricket in the lower right corner of the windshield. Dealers, however, know how to fix it quickly and inexpensively. Many note the presence of squeaks in the driver's seat and the rattling of the back of the rear seat. It's kind of disingenuous. And the quality of the leather upholstery of the seats, the steering wheel and the silvery plastic inserts on the steering wheel and the automatic transmission knob also, as they say, leaves much to be desired. Scuffs are already noticeable on runs of 20 to 40,000 km. The essence of the matter, however, all this trifle does not change. Land Cruiser Prado remains one of the few frame SUVs on the market of the same old school. And in terms of equipment, it will not yield to many modern and fashionable crossovers. 
The advantage of this car is the reliability of the main components, as well as their maintainability. Car maintenance is not cheap, but the car can save the owner a significant part of the money invested in it. Prado is cost-effective. The stabilizer bushings run no more than 50,000 km, the rear, 70,000 km. The cost of the sleeve is cheap, but the replacement, the front wheel bearings are buzzing with a run of 60,000 km. Officials put modified bearings with a higher resource. Often, the front shock absorbers are already leaking at 60,000 km. The vulnerable note is the distributor actuator. It fails with frequent use of the differential lock. The city car does not have such a massive problem. But with frequent off-road trips, gravel, mountains, swamps, you should be prepared for surprises from the handout actuator. Motors 2.7 in the cold vibrated idle. As it warms up, everything gets better. In the timing drive, a chain with a fair resource, the valves are adjusted every 200,000 km with washers. For 4.0 engines, the EGR valve is naughty. And a diesel engine can lose traction when driving for a long time at high speed. Here sometimes the flashing of the brains helped. The paintwork is perhaps one of the weak points of the SUV. It happened that the paint peeled off even on very fresh cars. However, this fact did not affect the resistance of the metal to corrosion. Red bugs in places of chips appear very reluctantly. In addition, the chrome finishes, the grille and the fifth door trim, do not last long. In winter, on engines 4.0, the valve for supplying secondary air to the exhaust manifold is buggy. Warning lamps and missing traction indicate a malfunction. The reason is the accumulated condensate. After 100,000 km, body position sensors fail. They are changed. The sensors cannot be repaired. 